How's it going all you beautiful people? It's your boy Wardy and we're back at it with a breaking news reactionary video. No, we're not live because of course I'm not home when this news happens because who thought this news was going to happen? I prep so many things every single off season. I do notes, I do practice on what? 50 plus different free agents and trade targets every single off season. I do practice on potential hires for the front office, for the managerial front like we're already doing. But I did not practice, I did not prepare for Billy Upward to decide to say, hey, you know what? I'm not gonna be GM anymore. He's out of town. That is the breaking news that you've seen over the past hour. Sorry for being slightly late. Like I said, wasn't in town to make the live stream happen, but we're doing the pre-recorded video here. I wanna know your initial reactions in the comments down below because Billy Upward is not Mets GM. Why exactly is this? We were under the initial belief that Epler would be coming in, staying as GM rather, with David Stearns as president of baseball operations. So the order of, you know, most important to least important, or, you know, who has the most pull, say, starts with Steve, then it's Stearns, in the middle of that sandwich, the meat, if you will, and then the other piece of that bun is Epler. Not anymore. Epler's like, you know what? I want to give it to David Stearns. It, it's pretty obvious that by David being here, he's going to have the final say in everything. He won't, He's going to be making his own decisions. I don't want to intrude on that, so I am going to respectfully resign from the position. And for that reason, I respect that, and I appreciate you, Billy Epler, for everything you did in the Mets organization. I would love it if you stayed in the organization, because when it comes to about Evaluating certain players, especially prospect capital, did very well at the trade deadline this year. Yes, last year's trade deadline will haunt me to no end. That will always feel like the team that got away, if they just addressed it the way that they should have, maybe they wouldn't have got kicked down the first round of the wild card against the Padres. But I digress as I'm talking really fast right now because this is just, this is nuts to me. Who expected this today? Who in the, <laughs> seriously, who expected this today is my initial reaction to this news. And on top of that, now you're telling me after Steve Cohen had this mindset for a while of wanting a GM, wanting a president of baseball operations, wanting a team president, which he's still trying to address too, to fill the shoes of Sandy Alderson and the owner itself, now they're not going to have that. So my big question is a couple things. One, are the Mets okay with this? Because of course, you know, they respect and understand the decision. Are the Mets perfectly fine with David Stearns controlling everything in the front office, basically going forward and him, he's gonna have his assistant GMs, etc. Is this the type of vision that the Mets too are equally interested in that don't have a problem with? Or is this more so Billy saying, hey, you know what? I just, I don't, I wouldn't prefer this position because my hands are kind of tied. I really can't make the decisions I wanna make. I can't have final say. And with all due respect, respect because of that reason, I would like to leave while the Mets could be like, oh, we really would have enjoyed your input, etc. So for him to resign, Nine years interesting in how the Mets are going to go about approaching this. I'd imagine that they will take this the same way that many teams do when they have a president of baseball operations, and that is to combine that with the GM position and with Stearns with the full expectation that he's going to be taking over Queens right away with the excitement with that big grin on his face in his presser that we saw just a couple days ago. No one should really be shocked that Stearns is going to be running the show, but now he's officially running the show, unlike what initial reports were indicating heading into the offseason that Billy Epler would stay as GM. And now another question is, how does this impact the Mets approach the offseason, specifically when pursuing a Shohei Otani and a Yoshinobu Yamamoto, potentially other MPB stars. And the reason why I bring that up for you guys today is because Epler has been really versed in that category. He brought Otani into the States uh, to, uh, to the LA Angels. He brought in Kodai Singa last year. He's done great at scouting overseas. That has been a plus for Billy Epler in his time as GM for the Mets. So I'm really curious as to, with him out, how does that impact the Mets' approach with not only the MPB, but with just player evaluation, their player scouting going on, when looking to sign free agents, when evaluating and doing trades, all these types of things. So there's a lot of questions now for the Mets here, and I know David Stearns, he wants to run his own show. He wants to be the leader of the boat. You know, I am going to drive the boat. I'm captain now, if you will. Shout out Captain Phillips. Uh, but all seriousness, like the move. Do I like the move? I'm not sure how I feel about it yet. I'm just excited for David Stearns. So I'm in the, very much the mindset of, and David Stearns we trust. So if he's leading, I'm following. That's just how it's going to be. Billy Epler, thank you for everything you did. Thank you for a phenomenal job at this year's trade deadline. Not thanking you for last year's trade deadline. Not thanking you for the lack of bullpen construction since you became GM and plenty of other flaws that we've seen in between. And yeah, that article that came out over the past day from the New York Post and Mike Puma saying how, yeah, Buck didn't want to play Daniel Volga back, but Epler was very adamant about playing Vogue. So if there's someone that deserves more blame, it's not nearly as much on Buck as it appears as it is Epler trying to save face from losing that trade pretty much right from the jump when he traded away Colin Holderman leading up to last year's trade deadline. So Mets fans, whoever you're a fan of, I want to know your reactions down below. What is your biggest takeaway from Billy Epler's surprise resignation as Mets general manager? Do you believe that they will fill that GM role in the coming months or in the next year? Or do you think that they're going to do what I kind of have the belief as of now until proven otherwise, that they're going to just roll with David Stearns as their guy to lead 
lead the way, both GM and President Baseball Operations. Whatever your thoughts are, whatever you're feeling, whether you're happy, sad, and different about this move happening, make sure to drop them down below. And thank you all so much for watching. Stay tuned for consistent content. We're the number one place to be for all Mets coverage here on YouTube. Thanks to all you amazing Mets fans out here, here on the Wardy NYM channel. And I'll talk to you again real soon. Let's go Mets, baby. Peace out.